Hello friends! Welcome to another journaling video. I don't normally do voiceovers for these, but I thought because this one I am setting up my 2021 reading journal, I thought I would kind of talk you through it and let you know kind of what I do to set mine up. It's pretty basic, it's pretty simple, let's not expect too much from me. But here I am using GoodNotes 5 and I'm just creating a journal, picking a cover that I like. Um, and I'm heading over to Procreate because I do want to have like a nicer font kind of situation. Um, and I like to use the shale brush. It's actually one that I use quite a bit for both my journaling and just in general. It kind of gives you that thick pencil look in a way, which I quite like. Um, like that charcoal kind of look, if it makes sense. And I'm just removing the background here and exporting it as a PNG so that I can import it into good notes um, with the transparent background, adding a cute little flowery kind of situation. <laughs> So once I've done that, I'm just heading over to Keynote to create my template for my 2021 books red spread. Um, and prior to this, like in previous years, I've kind of done, done that more traditional reading journal style that you kind of see a lot of traditional journalers do, um, where you kind of draw an empty bookshelf, you write in the title um, of your book in the, the books on the shelf. Um, but I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different this year um, and just make it look and match kind of my regular journaling aesthetic a little bit more. So I'm just creating a simple grid here using the table tool in Keynote. Um, and if you were wondering how I made my calendar template, if you've seen that, this is actually exactly how I do it as well. Um, so quick little kind of demo of that as well, I guess. Um, but I decided to make my grid six by Five. Um, I just thought this was a good size and a good number to have on a page and I'll just be duplicating this page um, as the year goes on and as I read more books um, I'll just keep duplicating this page in order to fit more books on there. Um, once you're happy with that you can just export it, um, you can select open in good notes and you can actually import it directly into your notebook. And now I'm just setting up my only other kind of annual reading spread that I really track throughout the year and that's my anticipated releases. Um, and I'm just drawing in a very basic uh, four by three grid in order to have 12 boxes and, and write in all the months and the names of the books as well as the dates that they're being released.
So in terms of my monthly kind of spread, um, this will vary from month to month. So I will try to film more of these throughout the year so you can kind of see um, what each month looks like. But I really just do a more of an aesthetic kind of spread, I guess, that's quite similar. Again, if you've seen my other journaling videos, it's quite similar to that style and aesthetic. Um, I just like to kind of grab uh, bits and pieces and, and kind of scrapbook together um, some images. Um, but in terms of what I track from month to month, it will largely stay the same. And I actually don't track that much in terms of my reading. Um, I have mentioned it before in my how I track my reading video, which I will link if you are interested. Um, my reading journal is really just a way for me to kind of wind down and it's more for fun and for more of like an aesthetic feel rather than actually tracking my stats. For that, I actually do use my uh, Google form, which I still haven't set mine up for, for this year. Um, but like I said, I will link that video so that you can uh, have a look at how I track my reading in terms of the actual nitty gritty statistics. course the first thing I am tracking on this spread is my TBR for the month. Um, I basically just write down the book that I'm reading or planning to read rather um, and if it is for book club or for my shop my stash video I do um, make a note of this here but otherwise I honestly just list it. next thing I'm tracking, which is actually something new for me this year, is pages read per day. Um, and I honestly mainly just want to do this because I feel like sometimes I get a bit discouraged that like I'm not reading as much as I'd like. So um, I just want to kind of keep track and see how much I'm actually reading per day. Um, because I think with certain things like audiobooks and ebooks, it can sometimes I can sometimes forget that I'm actually reading actually quite a bit um, on there because I'm not actually seeing the pages. So I am just writing down a list of all the dates. Um, this is a pretty simple kind of setup. Um, I'm not very good at journaling, so I don't do anything too complicated. But basically, I just have all the dates and then next to them, I'm going to write down the number of pages I've read collectively across all the books that I am currently reading at the time, whether that be audiobook, ebook or physical. And here I'm just putting a couple of placeholder sticky notes, basically. Um, I do want to keep track of my favorite read of the month as well as my least favorite read of the month, um, which I obviously don't know yet, uh, but I am just plopping these in now. Um, 
just so there is a space for them. Something else that I like to keep track of is what I haul um, during the month. Um, so I'm just creating a little sticky for that. Uh, and I basically just put the title of the book and also how much I spent on that book, just so I know kind of at the end of the month how much I've actually spent on books. Last but not least, I am of course tracking all the books that I read during the month. And again, this is super simple. I just like to list out the books that I've read uh, as well as the date that I completed them on. Now at this point, I kind of realized that I forgot to include something in my uh, Read in 2021 spread, and that is to differentiate between audiobook, ebook, and physical. Um, I do like to keep track of what format I am reading in these books. Usually in the past when I've done kind of that bookshelf spread kind of situation, I just either use a different color to fill in um, the book itself or I write the title in a different color but obviously with this new format I don't have that so I decided to use these like little stickies um, and different color ones uh, that I will also be adding the star rating on top of I decided to color code those so that one of them will correspond with ebooks one of them is for physical and one of them one's for audio
that's really it for my reading journal setup. Um, it's pretty simple, I guess, if you think about it. It's really only two annual spreads and then month to month I create a new spread every month. Um, but the things I track are pretty basic. But um, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.